Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. We are aware also of the dirty schemes being perpetrated to rig the 2026 elections using state institutions such as the Zamba Information Technology Authority, ZICTA. We are aware of the abuse of the National Registration Department and also the Electoral Commission of Zambia, ECZ, and the Zambia Police. We are aware of the page being done to positions of council secretaries and town clerks by local government commission, service commission chairperson Axon Sejan, a non-UPND cadre and extremist. You remember this is the man who was saying only a Tonga can take over from Mazoka. Now he has been uh, awarded uh, you know, the chairmanship of the local government service commission which has become an abattoir of slaughtering the careers of qualified personnel in the local government um, um, you know, among, you know, among officers in the local government. Sejan's counterpart, Chore Bayan, at public service commission has also continued to page the civil service they have packed over 400 qualified persons at Public Service Management Division, PSMD. The appointment of well-known cadres at ECZ in the chairperson, Mwangala Zanomis, McDonald Chipenzi, all known UPND cadres as commissioners, and the Chief Electoral Officer, Brown Casolo, Casalo, remains a serious concern to us, the Patriotic Front, and we also believe to the Zambian people. The recent tender to print ballots that was abruptly cancelled at ECZ is also of great concern. It is clear that President Hichirema knows that he has already lost the mass popularity and is determined to stay in power using underhand methods and illegal methods. Look at what he attempted to do or what he did in Kabushi and Kwacha. He believes that was a legitimate test and he wants it to be implemented at national level. Look at what he has sponsor, attempted to sponsor in Patriotic Front to try and create factions. The only good thing is that the, Z the Zambian people and the members of Patriotic Front have been resilient to reject those schemes. And it has become very clear that that project has collapsed. The confusion that he wanted to export into Patriotic Front has gone back to community house and has gone back to state house. And they are quarreling by themselves. And for us who continue to reorganize and mobilize the party and getting ready for 2026. We call upon Zambians to reject these machinations and to help restore democracy in Zambia by waking up. May we all wake up. May we all, as it, the mantra has been said, ukani. It is clear that Zambians have to res resolve to res rescue themselves from this disastrous leadership and gang of criminals and liars. If Mr. Aka Indechirema had any sense of decency, by now he would have resigned. But as it were, 
since that has eroded him, we have to deal with him and endure his bad leadership for another one year and some months. And we call upon the Zambian people, may we work together in making sure that the resolve you have made and we have made to retire Misaka in the Ichirema completely, not only from politics, but also to send him back to where I think he deserves to go and competently so to his farm so I can look after animals because looking after animals it does not, cannot be compared or equal looking after human beings. Uh, like I said in, in my statement, the attempt by Misaka in the HLM to try and uh, you know, export confusion into patriotic front has failed lamentably. And I think all Zambians know that that, he was, that is and was his project. Uh, the same way he has failed to govern, he has failed even in his criminal activities of wanting to destroy uh, patriotic front. Uh, by God's grace and, and the resilience of members of patriotic front, uh, PF remains strong and that minor irritation will definitely be dealt with and it will be dealt with very soon. The registration of Zambians as voters in Mozambique and other countries, we have condemned and we want to take this opportunity through this question to ask Misaka in the Ichirema to stop what he is doing. If there are laws in Mozambique to allow Mozambicans that are in the diaspora to vote, the registration is expected to be conducted at their embassy. But what is happening in this country is that actually Misaka in the HLMA, under his nose, he is supervising the registration of voters in compounds, most of which are Zambians, I think with the idea that possibly they can be given an opportunity to go and vote in Mozambique. That is criminal. It should not be tolerated. And we call upon law enforcement agencies to take this matter seriously. Because in so doing, we are also risking the security of this country. Mr. Blessing uh, Mkandawire, you are asking why it has taken uh, us too long to convince the Socialist Party to join UCA. I don't think he, we are in the business of wanting to convince anyone. What we have presented as uh, UCA members is a cause uh, for which we believe we'll be able to answer to the needs of the Zambian people. And all those who are like-minded and are passionate and patriotic enough in wanting to solve the crisis and disaster that we have on our hands of this disastrous government of UPND to make sure that by 2026 these people leave the stage because the, the damage they have so far caused, none of us can imagine what would happen if they continued beyond 2026. So it's not about convincing Socialist Party or any other political party. It's about them being persuaded and ha carrying the same conviction that we carry, that in working together, we achieve more than in working in, in isolation. So for us, the UCA doors are still open. Um, and for everyone that sees that that's a route to take, they are welcome to join. And they will be given an equal chance to participate in the process of growing this people's movement and also, you know, offering some of the, I mean, their best players in those respective political parties so that we can form a team that when the Zambian people decide to give us a, a chance, which decision I think has already been made to govern, we will not be doing takataka uh, and chipante pante like Misaka in the Ichirema is doing today. So we are not convincing anybody. We are basically just casting the vision presenting a cause that requires the participation of everybody 
and those who are persuaded with that cause, they join and we move together. The performance of uh, in the by-elections, first of all, you know we all live in the same environment. Ar arising from the confusion uh, sponsored by UPND through Mao Sampa, and you know the criminal um, moves that were made to even change uh, office bearers. You know how the registrar at the uh, Registrar of Society was the chief registrar was hounded out of office for wanting to do the right thing. So the ECZ has also donated on themselves a mandate of powers they don't have to start uh, being the ones to determine who should do file nomination and now they're even demanding to have specific uh, um, signatures on uh, uh, nomination uh, or adoption certificates. It has never happened. The reason why the Constitution provides that when you file nominations, anyone who's aggrieved can go to court to challenge that nomination 14 days after the nomination is because if, we, for example, somebody has not been properly adopted, it's incumbent on the parties that are aggrieved to go to court. Now, the ECZ cannot become in the court now to start determining who has filed nomination properly or not. All that is basically abrogating the law. As Patriotic Front, we have been disfranchised from participating in these by-elections because of the criminality being perpetrated by ECZ and the criminality that is being pe perpetrated by UPND. But the days to account and to recon are fast approaching for everybody, including Misaka and Ichirema. This that is going on will not go on forever because we know the Zambian people are determined to correct the rot that Misaka and Ichirema has come with. So don't look at the results of these uh, by-elections as uh, something that uh, should do, uh, speak to whether UPND is popular or not. It is basically a result of those criminal activities which we are sorting out. You can never have your currency you know, st strong if you are import dependent. Patriotic Front was determined after putting up infrastructure, the road network was sorted out because now Zambia is not, uh, uh, as it used to be called, uh, uh, a landlocked country. It's now a land-linked country because of the infrastructure, the road infrastructure I've put in place. The next phase was to start putting up uh, industries according to the strengths and opportunities that lie in each province. We started with Northwestern Province to put up a fruit processing plant. It is initiatives of that nature that will guarantee that your currency is strong because as you export uh, to your neighboring countries and so on uh, the products that you are producing it automatically begins to bring in forex and it strengthens your local currency. The board decision that we made as PF under the leadership of President Edgar Chagalungu, when those who were running Mopani wanted to um, twist and blackmail us by saying they are going to um, retrench 3,500 you know, miners, we said, please give that mind to us. Since you are saying that you have continued to post um, losses, we took over Mopani 100%. And Mopani was supposed to be a mirror mine that as we run it as a people, as Zambians, it also helps us to understand why most of the mines that are running in this country for years keep on saying that they're running on a loss but they never vacate that business. How can somebody run a business for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years on a loss, but they never vacate? But as it were, the few years until recently when, you know, 
UPND has decided again to take that mine to foreigners, and we know that they have interest in that transaction. We were posting profit. That mine was going to help us generate forex enough to strengthen the local currency. Of course, those are economic uh, analysis, but I can tell you, without productivity, your currency can never, you know, uh, be strong, especially when you are dependent on foreigners to feed you, to clothe you, to do everything for you. As we sit here, there's nothing that we are, we are using which is produced locally. So how can your local currency be strong? And then you have a government that is looking to foreigners in everything. And, you know, basically advancing the interests of foreigners other than the local people. You, you, are saying, you also asked to say, you seem to be imposing uh, President Edgar Chagarungo on the Zambian people because they are uh, concerns from some stakeholders, I don't know, or people of Zambia. I'm actually wondering whether we are in the same, you know, we are living in the same country or we are living in different countries. I am sure we have all heard how the Zambian people have been comparing the performance of Aga in the HLMA, the disastrous performance of Aga in the HLMA and that of President Edgar Chagalung. And the Zambian people are beginning to sing Alebo de song louder each day that passes. In Bemba they say, Aka nanaka weme, kala ilombiro muchele. We don't have to impose President Lungu on the Zambian people. It is the Zambian people themselves who are saying, I think he was better off uh, than this one who is in government. President Edgar Chagalunga and Patriotic Front also responding to what uh, uh, Elias was trying to, to say suffered at the hand of the propaganda machinery of U UPND. And I can tell you that propaganda machinery was not only established by UPND. They also had very powerful foreign entities that put up that machinery that was selling a narrative that, you know, President Lungu was not, you know, um, as it were, was not doing anything and all kinds of things, falsehoods actually which now have been proven to be false. And the Zambian people can see through. The Zambian people can also see that the UPND came into government through lies, and they have continued to try and govern and perpetuate their stay in government through lies. I just gave you an example of a young lady who has also been recruited into lies, Chipo Monawasa, who was trying to lie that uh, the GDP has grown under UPND from $18 billion to 27 <laughs> Fantastic lies. But you see, a leader ultimately produces his own kind. When you have a leader who lies, everybody else that follows them, they also lie. So we are subjected to lies. But as it were, time has a way of curing situations. Because lies run, fast, run faster but usually the truth will catch up, and the truth has caught up with the UPND. And hence, the demand by the Zambian people that PF must come back. And that demand has included President Edgar Lungu also to come and rescue the Zambian people. Whether or not that decision has been made now, that's a secondary matter. Because there are still processes that a party will go through uh, because uh, there are laws not only in Zambia but also in patriotic front. So there is going to be a process, I can tell you before the election of 2026, to which leadership will emerge. Uh, in this case, if the Zambian people, as it were, continue on the trajectory they have you know, said, the position is very clear. We will not impose President Edgar Chagalungu. The demands by the Zambian people is what we are going to answer to, yeah. not the demands of those who we know are opponents of uh, patriotic front. The opinion you are advancing, actually, I to be honest, is an opinion of UPND. They are so scared of Edgar Chagalungu that they keep on running a narrative, no Edgar had his time. Why are they so concerned about who we choose as a candidate? 
if we choose Eddie Gachagarungu, it's us who have chosen. And it is up to the Zambian people to make a decision uh, whether or not they'll give him a chance or not. But as it stands, he stands a greater chance. That's how come Aka in the HLM is not sleeping. And on every occasion, even on Labor Day, where we expect him to talk about Labor matters, he's saying, don't vote PF, don't vote Eddie Gachagarungu. Why do you think HH is not sleeping? Why do you think a church says don't allow Edgar to stand? It's because he's dead scared. The Zambian people know Edgar performed beyond, you know, he cannot be compared to anybody as president in terms of infrastructure, in terms of running the economy afloat, even during, the, you know, challenging times. Him, one drought had dis declared disaster. <laughs> How many droughts and the situations did Edgar Lungu face, including COVID-19? He never declared the disaster. He navigated the country through that whole process. Even you, I'm sure, you are convinced that Edgar is better than Aka in the HLM. <laughs> and uh, you said presidential candidates. Yeah. Well, they, are, they, they, they did colleagues, colleagues within the party, colleagues within the party did express interest to run for the presidency. Uh, because President Edgar Chagalungu had obviously gone on leave and they had indicated that the process can begin within the party to which a successor can come. But as it were, the circumstances along the way demanded for his return to active politics. And he is president of the party. So there is no vacuum whatsoever. There is no vacancy in the office of president. There is a president. So those colleagues who expressed interest, um, they are democratic enough uh, uh, they are Democrats themselves, and they did accept the fact that uh, now that the substantive president has come back into office, there's no need for us to proceed with those aspirations. I think in the near future, when it is opened up, they will be given an opportunity to still continue, I mean, pursue their aspirations. For now, there is a president in office. There is no such thing as aspiring, you know, presidential candidates. On the, repeat your question. The first one was uh, concerning about the, the, the cadet or the issue of the cadet. Then the last one was about okay. what's your going to do. But as it were, you've seen that regardless of the provocation that the UPND uh, you know, and threats, the UPND tried to, uh, you know, uh, uh, to occasion against us, we have restrained ourselves. I was on the copper belt and I was saying to Mr. Mirupi and Mr. Mwariteta that the proposal for violence that they are making, especially the ones they made in Mongo, is just that as it were we took a, a process of introspection through, remember the process we undertook after losing election, which was um, a post-mortem process. We went to the Zambian people and they told us some of the things we need to change. And we committed to the Zambian people that we change in those areas that made them feel that we did not, you know, uh, live up to the standard they wanted. But if we, uh, 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 I was saying on the copper belt that uh, Mr. Mulupi must not, you know, dare PF because an oppressor determines the reaction of the oppressed. If you oppress people to the extent that the only option they have is to fight back, you don't have to blame them. There's an Af African saying, or is it Nigerian saying, that uh, even when a goat is pursued and it has no way of escape, even it can bite. But I can assure you the issue of cadres so far up to today you have to give us kudos uh, in, in terms of how our cadres are, you know, are managing themselves and are conducting themselves. And the process of reform has continued. When you come here, you are being received as if you are at a hotel. That's how much we have uh, been able to reform. Go beyond even the expectation of people. Thank you very much. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage.
all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of mutatim pondum i love you peace i gotta go